In this paper, we present the GoToAnything agent, the first lifelog learning agent capable of multitask navigation to objects, however they're specified. GOAT is the first universal navigation system that can search for and navigate to any object specified as an image, language, or a category in completely unseen environments without requiring any pre-computed maps or locations of objects. Here you can see it look for a sync image, language describing a teddy bear, and language describing a cup. First, let's discuss the problem we tackle. Imagine dropping a robot in an unknown home and asking it to tidy up. For example, it might have to bring the child's teddy bear to the kitchen chair. What makes this challenging? The robot needs to explore the environment, detect and localize relevant objects, remember object locations to be able to come back to them, and navigate to pick or place objects. In any deployment setting, a general navigation primitive should be multimodal. The robot should be able to reach any object specified in any way, as an image, language, or a category, and should be lifelong, meaning the robot should remember object locations and be able to navigate to multiple goals in a row. Let's step through an overview of our system. As the agent moves through this scene, the perception system processes RGBD camera inputs to detect object instances and localize them into a top-down semantic map of the scene. In addition to the semantic map, GOAT maintains an object instance memory that localizes individual instances of object categories in the map and stores images in which each instance has been viewed. This memory allows the agent to localize and navigate to any object instances that have been observed previously. A global policy takes this lifelong memory representation and a goal object specified as language, an image, or a category and outputs a long-term goal in the map. Finally, a local policy plans a trajectory to achieve this long-term goal and outputs actions to be taken by the agent. Next, let's talk about the perception system. The perception system takes as input the current depth image, RGB image, and pose reading from onboard sensors. It uses off-the-shelf models to segment instances in the RGB image and estimate depth to fill in holes for reflective objects in raw sensor readings. Object detections are then projected and added to a top-down map of the scene. For each object detected, we also store the image in which the object was detected as part of the object instance memory. Let's discuss this memory in more detail. Our object instance memory clusters object detections across time into instances using their location in the top-down map and their category. Each object instance is associated with the images in which it has been viewed. When a new goal is specified to the agent, first the agent searches the object instance memory to see if the goal has already been observed. The method for computing matches is tailored to the modality of the goal specification. After an instance is selected, its stored location in the top-down map is used as a long-term point navigation goal. If no instance is localized, the global policy outputs an exploration goal. We use frontier-based exploration, which selects the closest unexplored region as the goal. The local policy simply uses the fast-marching method to compute actions that move the agent closer to the long-term goal. Now, let's look at our results. We evaluate GOAT in the wild, in nine unseen rented homes without pre-computed maps or locations of objects. We evaluate four methods, GOAT and three baselines, for 10 trajectories per home, with five to 10 goals per trajectory, for a total of 90 hours of experiments. In total, this represents over 200 different object instances represented as image, language, or category goals. Let's look at a full episode of the GOAT policy in an unseen home. Here, we show the first-person observation from the robot along with the third-person view. Here, we show the current goal, which is an image of the kitchen sink. The semantic map that is being built over the course of the episode is shown here, along with the legend indicating the recognized instances. Initially, since the goal has not been found, the agent begins exploring. As it moves around the scene, observed objects are added to the instance memory and the map. Every new instance that is observed is compared against the goal image for a match. Once the sink has been seen, it is correctly matched and the agent navigates to it directly. After reaching the first goal, the agent must reach a new goal, in this case, natural language describing a teddy bear. When presented with a new goal, it first searches the instance memory for existing matches. If none are found, it begins exploring. For this goal, the image of the couch, 
The agent finds a match against previously observed instances, so it can navigate directly to the goal without exploring. Following this procedure, GOAT is able to successfully reach all goals specified in this episode. And here we show the GOAT agent operating in a different unseen home. We compare approaches in terms of success rate per goal within a limited budget of 300 robot actions and success weighted by path length, or SPL, a measure of path efficiency. GOAT reaches 83% success rate and 0.64 SPL. When removing the persistent memory, success rate drops to 61% and SPL to only 0.19, as the agent needs to re-explore the environment with every goal. When removing the ability to distinguish different object instances from the same category, success rate drops to 49% and SPL to 0.4. When using clip features of entire images to localize goals, as suggested in prior work, success rate is 51% and SPL is 0.42. Additionally, GOAT performance improves with experience in the environment, going from a 60% success rate and 0.2 SPL at the first goal to a 90% success rate. 0.8 SPL for goals 5 through 10 after thorough exploration. Conversely, GOAT without memory shows no improvement from experience, while Clip on Wheels benefits but plateaus at much lower performance. In the same scene with the same goals, we see that our system performs more accurate matching than baselines, and the use of instance memory allows effective localization of previously observed objects, where baselines with no memory can repeatedly explore the same area. This leads to robust and efficient navigation in the real world. As a general navigation primitive, the GOAT policy can be applied to downstream tasks like pick and place and social navigation in a platform agnostic manner. Here you can see the GOAT policy search for a bed, look for an image of a specific teddy bear, and bring it to the already localized bed. Here, you can see the GOAT policy plan around a person to reach the refrigerator. Then remove the previous location of the person from the map after the person is moved. It successfully follows the person while updating their location. And finally, GOAT can easily be deployed on many different robotic platforms. In summary, we present the first universal navigation system able to search for and navigate to any object specified as an image, language, or a category in a lifelong setting, in completely unseen environments. GOAT can readily be deployed for pick and place or social navigation in a platform agnostic manner. Thank you for watching. For more details, please visit the project webpage.